people, Carlito here once again. Uh, apologies, I've not done a video for quite a while and the reason, well, two reasons. One, I'm just quite busy in my personal life. But the second reason is for the past two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks, we've been pushing in the Opez clans. Um, so basically we've been hunting for trophies rather than hunting for resources. And as anyone who's pushed will know, once you get into the master leagues and beyond, you can't afford to, to not be online unless you're riding a shield because you get attacked instantly. Uh, and you know, take a look at this defense log. You've seen my base, it's quite a stacked Town Hall 10. And I got beat nine times out of 10, maybe eight times out of 10. Um, really strong armies, some you know golems, wizards, witches, or level 12 dragons. And some smart people would use hogs with some um, golems and level 40 heroes. So uh, so yeah, I mean, these top two attacks, they're not typical because they're used, sorry, my, my reflector app crashed, but those top two attacks aren't typical because they're used three rage spells. Typically, I would only use one, maybe two. And the reason being is that I wasn't boosting anything at all during the push. Um, I did towards the end and I'll explain why, but during the push, I didn't use any gems um, for the most part. And the reason I could get away with that was because I wasn't using very much spells. If I did, then I would be waiting far too long for my army, which would then mean that I wouldn't get enough tr trophies, so by the time I logged off um, and got attacked, I'd actually be in negative, in a negative situation. So here's an example of how I attack with balloons, and it's not, it's quite strategic. It's not, uh, you know, release, drop rage and hope. It's very tactical. As you can see, I'm taking out Archer Towers, so I'm focusing on anything that can kill my air troops, because what I'm trying to do is remove the um, air defences and then pick 50% of the buildings off with my minions. That's it, as simple as that. Now, it is risky because typically with a well-designed base, you'll only just about get to 50%, so you can't afford any mistakes. Um, you can't afford to delay, you, you need to be quite decisive because what you don't want to happen is need 5% and you've only got three seconds left on the clock. So here we go, um, using a raid spell now because I want to get in towards that last air tower, air defense, and I also want to trigger the um, clan castle troops um, to get those out. And I also noticed that there's an inferno tower and without rage, that inferno tower probably would have melted my balloons. Now here's how I deal with the heroes. Release a balloon, the queen will follow the balloon and then my minions will basically shoot her in the back, which I'm not ashamed of. Um, and the same for the wizards. Uh, now witches are a real problem for ground troops, um, but not a problem at all for Berlinian. So I actually don't mind seeing witches in clan castles when I've got Berlinians. And as you can see, all of the skeletons are still left there, standing, doing nothing. There's nothing that they can do now to help defend the base. Um, now, as you can see, I didn't use Rage this time around because I don't want to penetrate as far into the base. Uh, taking out the air tower is enough for me, and that'll mean I can pick off another 3 or 4% with my minions in that area. Taking out the uh, Tesla, which again will mean I can get towards the... Um, Cannon, the dark barrack, and basically everything in that in that very top uppermost part of the base. That that's all percentage points for me. Um, and again, on the left hand side, there are you know elixir pumps there. Easy, easy pickings. Now, that's against a champion. Um, to be fair, probably not defending against Berlinian. You know, he's probably trying to defend against ground attacks. But I don't care because I want the cups, and uh, that's exactly what we got there. So that was a typical attack, um, not very uh, rage intensive, quite tactical, quite you know slow and steady. But definitely, you need to know you need to be quite practiced. And I, I didn't start off that good. Um, by the end of it, I was attacking bases that were maxed. But for the most part of the push, I was actually um, quite careful about who I attacked and they tended to be premature Town Hall 10s. Now here's a defence. Um, you, you typically don't defend successfully in Champions League 
um, or even Master 1 because the attacks are just so powerful. These guys either spend lots of gems to gem the troops or they spend a long long time cooking the army um, and they've got level 40 heroes so these these heroes can literally take 10% of a base just on their own um, which is exactly what one queen did to me when I'd, I'd beaten all of the troops but the queen took 10% of the base on her own um, and I lost which was really depressing because the guy only won one cup and if he'd have lost, or she'd have lost, I would have won 40 odd cups. Now here's where my walls have come into their own because the golem, golems are trying to get through to hit my um, my inferno and they're, they're not getting anywhere because the walls are really protecting me. If I'd have had maybe level 8 walls they could have got through. As you can see I've only just survived the wall there. Um, the inferno may have gone and that could have resulted in me actually losing the fight things are that tight up here you know it's the wrong clan castle the guy has you know one more spell and that could be the difference between a loss and a fail and in this case of you know, lucky for me it was a win now i did mention before that i i gemmed um and it was actually after that attack because i was so close to champion that i wanted my heroes to be alive for the next defense so i gemmed them awake and it was before the one gem boost, so that cost me 20 gems. Um, and then finally, just before I hit champion, um, I wanted to make sure I had all of my spells. So I gemmed my spells as well. And uh, the reason for that was that I could make sure I definitely won the attack. So all in all, it cost me 30 gems to get to champion. Um, I've now got 4,600 odd gems, I think. Um, now here's an example of dragons and level 4 dragons with free spells I think they're unstoppable there's not much you can do you know I've got a really powerful clan castle witch and wizards they've been you know burnt to a crisp um, the dragons are still going through the base only done 33% damage so far um, but just what wait and see what happens <laughs> so um Here's the level 40 queen. Now the, the guy's on 40%. 42% uh, now he's just taken out the, the mine. Queen's gone invisible. There you go, 43. Soon to be 44. And you can see what's going to happen. Uh, you know, without the level 40 hero, you know, a level 30 hero would have been running out of steam at around about now, probably. Um, and they probably would have died there are thereabouts but you know level 40 gets the win and he's protected his, his hero's health there which is understandable so that was you know that was my journey to champion I think I ended up going as high as 3208 trophies um, I did consider going to um, get on the the, the league um, or sorry the, the top leaderboard for the UK um, which was doable but it wasn't um, it would just be another day of, of raiding this way and it's not that enjoyable uh, there's there's actually lots of people up here who want to to um, to steal your resources um, and there's lots of people up here who want to take your trophies so you know it's tough um, and if, for this video guys there's there's not much more for me to to go through I'll show you where the the clan um, actually ended up so we we are currently or we were currently when I did the video 295 we actually got to 265 which you know for a gang of, of farmers basically is great um, we had a number of town hall nines which made things really difficult as well for those guys and um, I'm really impressed, I was impressed by the effort all of the clan put in. So if you want any questions, or if you've got any questions about Town Hall 10, the Champions League, let me know. Yeah. Bye from the King, yeah. bye from the Queen, and I'll see you soon.